everybody welcome back to inside the hymn um it is march finally spring has <laughs> sprung we live in charleston south carolina and we have been blessed with the most wonderful spring so far 70 degree days sunny it's been so wonderful so we thought we'd come at you this month with um some of our favorite spring patterns um, these are going to be the things that we are either going to be making this season or things that, you know, we have made or um, things that we like to wear during the spring season. So I'm going to kick us off here. Uh, my very first pattern is a McCall's pattern, um, M7131, if you're curious. We're going to have all the links of all of these in the comment, I mean, in the info box below. So don't worry about, like, taking notes or anything but um and it is a culottes pattern um if you're not familiar with culottes they are basically very baggy flowy pants and if you make it with a fabric that's just as airy and flowy it kind of almost looks like a skirt mm -hmm. um and you can sew them at a variety of lengths obviously but the most traditional for culottes is going to be the midi length with this, which is just a few inches below your knee um, culottes have been around for a while and I have proof of that. Um, I actually have a vintage pattern. Um, it is a Vogue basic design um, from 1985. That's yeah, yep, and this was um, actually gifted to me from a sewist herself, Miss Ada Corbin, out in Mississippi. If you're watching, Miss Ada, so love cool. you. <laughs> um, she sent me a bunch of her um, patterns whenever I started sewing, um, which was just really great. And a lot of them are a lot of fun. So um, here's some proof. Cool lots from 1985, and then cool lots from 2016. I mean, this was produced not this year, I don't think. Um, 2015 but still all the same difference yeah. so everything comes back again <laughs> and um, cool lots are just a perfect spring pattern easy breezy flowy comfortable okay. you know you're, they're intended to be made with lightweight fabrics so that's my first spring pattern okay for my first one I've got this shirt dress and it's a Nicole's 6885 and it's got a simple style where it's just kind of straight you've got a um, little self tie waist you can do but it's a really casual um, springy pattern and shirt dresses have been really big right now it's got options for a uh, short sleeve a uh, sleeve you can roll up with cute little tab details <coughs> and a sleeveless too um, and it's even got a hat if you're <laughs> inclined to make yes. a hat although <laughs> I probably won't but I think this would be great in any type of like a cotton, um, something lightweight or like a chambray has been really popular. Um, but it's just a really good basic shirt draw, shirt dress with uh, like a half placket. Yeah, those are really good too because you can easily layer that, throw a cardigan mm -hmm. over top of it, and it'll carry you from the cooler morning through the you know warmer afternoons. Yeah, definitely. Especially that um, sleeveless With the sleeveless, one. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that you wear it in the summer. Mm -hmm. But I really think you should do it with the matching hat. With the hat, yeah. yeah we'll see. Totally pick <laughs> you in that. <laughs> so for my first pattern, I have a maxi skirt. It's the Soaholic Gabriola maxi skirt. And I've made this one before. I really like it because it's a little more figure flattering. It's got these really nice yokes in the front and the back. There's also a zipper, and it's really drapey and flowy. And I like to wear maxi skirts, especially in the spring. Well, here in Charleston, it gets a little too hot in the summer for a maxi skirt, but also because my legs are pretty pasty still in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> so a maxi skirt covers it up. I like to pair it usually with a tank top and a cardigan. I can also wear it to work, and I just think they're really versatile for the spring. Yeah. A little bit warmer than a regular skirt. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely covers up your legs. It's a chilly morning. Yeah. Okay, so um, I have a top. Uh, this is McCall 7094. Um, and this is just a kind of a basic top with a kind of a placket and some pleating. And really, the idea behind this top is just of making something that's very lightweight and breezy 
and similar to what I said about Amber's dress is that it can be layered. You know, you can layer a tank top underneath it, you, know, you put, it can be semi-sheer or just kind of like even a rayon blend or some kind of silk. Um, and then you can throw like a lightweight jacket over top of it and that'll give some structure to what can be like a flowy fabric. Um, this one calls for fabrics that are like Crepe Machine, Georgette, Shally, and Crepe. So um, you really want to go for those light fabrics. And you know, these kinds of tops that have the um, kind of, what is that, like a shaped hem, mm -hmm. like a shirt tail hem, I think is what it's called, can be tucked in to skirts or pants. Yeah. They can be left out over your jeans or shorts or whatever you're doing. So you can get a lot of different looks um, with this shirt because it's so blousey and it's just easy and breezy. And you know, a lot of these fabrics come in floral prints, which is also very spring-like. Mm -hmm. um, so you can just really like nail the season with, with something like M7094. Sounds like my style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, the next one I've got is a simplicity pattern, and this is um, 1586, and it's an amazing fit pattern, which is really great. They have different cup sizes, and it's also shaped for a slim, average, and curvy, which gives you a really good fit. Um, so this is a simple, like, sheath-style dress, which I think would be great for wearing to work if you have an office job, and um, you could also um do a v-neck or it's got like a kind of a rounded neck or also sleeves too but i was thinking the sleeveless version would be cute with a little sweater or a jacket in the spring and i'm probably going to do it all in a printed fabric rather than color blocking um but just those princess lines just really give you a nice Fit. Imagine that in like a white ponte knit. Mm. How pretty would that be with some like cream wedges? Mm. I think that would be really cute. Or something to go with your new braid wings or anything. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I was thinking really cute. like floral prints. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, yeah. Very good. Mm. All right. And for my last pattern that I think would be great for the spring is by Victory Patterns. It's the Nicola dress. And I think this one is perfect for the spring because it has a tulip hem and it has tulip sleeves. I mean, come on, tulips, spring, <laughs> perfect. True. So I just think it's sweet and flirty. They show it um, really a perfect example out of a very springy floral. They even did a version where it's a lace up top and then the solid. I think it's really cute and I've actually made it before and the way the sleeves are, you can easily throw on a jean jacket or a cardigan and um, wear it both ways. It's a little chillier. So I think that's a really great one for the spring. So that's what we're thinking about sewing this spring. We would love to know what you're sewing this spring. So if you could put in the comments below what, you're, what patterns you're thinking about sewing up this spring. And of course, subscribe to us so you don't miss any of our uploads. Give us a thumbs up if you like this channel and follow us on all our social media. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.